hold a special get together and you're not going to do any works. We know it's a chag. We're not going to do any malacha. And it's going to be a day to sound the shofar. Teruah. That is how the Torah describes the sounding of the shofar. Now, we all know there are three sounds we make on the shofar. They are tekiah, that's the long ooh sound. There is shavarim, which is ooh, ooh, ooh. And we know that there is also a teruah, which is do 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 Small little blasts. Where do these... That's only three. Tekiah is just a longer tekiah, which hasn't really got a source. It's just a way to tell everyone the shofar sounding is over and you can relax. First of all, what does the word shofar actually mean? Le shaper means to improve. To improve. That's what the word shofar comes from. Le shaper is to, in, in to improve something. What is being improved... And why? We're going to see. And this is also a very unusual mitzvah, because this is a mitzvah we don't say, we don't eat, we don't wear, we don't hang in a house, like a mezuzah in the house, or tzitzit or tefillin, or um, shabbat su'udot, foods, right? Or matzah that we eat. This is a mitzvah we do with our ears. With our ears. This is the Ear mitzvah. You listen to the sound of the shofar. That is how you fulfill it. You're quiet and you listen. Interestingly, with which part of the body do you listen? Your ears. How do you say ear in Hebrew? Ozen in the singular. Ozen is how you say ear. In plural it's oznaim. What does that sound like? There's another Hebrew word that it sounds like it. Very good. More. Mosnaim, which are scales. Scales, like weights. Like in a supermarket, you get those scales. They are called Mosnaim. Interestingly, what do your ears do? They give you a balance. You're in a balance, your scales are inside your ear. But it's much... De- That's true. And we've known this for a long time that a person's balance is regulated from the ear, because the word oz and ear, moznaim, are scales, weights. But there's something much deeper over here, much, much deeper, and that is, you are being weighed up at this time. Your sins against your demerits, your averot, are being weighed up, and that is why the astrological sign for Tishri is, which starts on Rosh Hashanah, is moznaim, right? The scales. What's, what's the English version of that? Libra. Libra. Thank you. So it all starts, that's where they get it from. It starts actually, I was actually at a museum in Amsterdam and they had an entire floor you can visit and it's got all the 12 astrological symbols which represent the year, which come from us. There are synagogues in Israel, ancient synagogues, that have mosaic floors with the astrological signs for each month. These are not astrological predictions. These are certain energies that flow through the world a certain months. The energy of Tishrei is scales, things, places, and most importantly, people are being weighed up at this time. Okay? So how do we get a good judgment on Rosh Hashanah? We listen. Ozen to the sound of the shofar. And that is going to improve us and hopefully improve our judgment on the day of judgment, Rosh Hashanah. That's how this pretty much all comes together. L, what's up? Is it sins and merits are being weighed against each other. How many are wrong? Remember, there's three books we said, if you remember, on Rosh Hashanah, the ones for the Sadiqim, Rishayim, and Beinonim. There's a, everyone in the entire world is being judged on this day. The Shofar somehow is there to help us improve our chances of a better judgment. That's really what it's doing. We've got to see why. But that's what it's doing. And your merits and your, and your uh, sins. Right? Your demerits. Whatever you want to call them. Okay? Okay. So, that's pretty much a recap from last class. Let's have a look at a very famous Rambam. And I was in a library in...